Hey guys, it's Daniel from Daddy Daughter Gamer. I'm gonna unbox something for you. It's the Oculus Go. So right here we have the 64 megabit version. Grab your phone to get started. Download the app. This must be the controller. Also got a box back here. All right, so we've got a headset, a controller, a lanyard, uh, eyeglass spacer. So that's good if you wear glasses like me. A charge cable. Double A battery and a lens cloth. This must be a little charger brick. Let's get this thing a go, shall we? So I've installed the battery in the controller and I've got the device right here. Pretty cool. So far, I'm liking it. It's not very heavy. It was a little sticky on the lenses on the inside. It said, don't. Uh, don't get the lenses in the sunlight, which I'm not planning on doing, but just FYI. Let's give this thing a try. Okay, so upon opening the app on my phone, the first thing it tells us to is turn the device on. There's a little power button right here. Push that in, nothing happened. Um, I'm gonna hold it in for a few seconds and see if that makes a difference. Well, it just made some noises, kind of like a bubbling. Uh, sound. Okay, I got it turned on. I can see there's something on the inside here. Let's see, there's a little bit of light in there. All right, now what? Uh, there's a blue button on my phone that says to continue. Okay, it said I should plug in my Oculus Go. So, I'm going to do that right now. Go ahead and pull out the cable that it came with. And the little charger block. I'm gonna plug this in. Okay, so I plugged in the Oculus. Now I'm gonna click continue. It's searching for my Oculus Go, it says. It found it and it gives me the serial number. I'm not gonna mention that on the camera, but I'm gonna go ahead and click the blue button that says continue next. All right, now it says it's pairing my headset. So now it's gonna let me hook up to my Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna do that now. So it's paired, and the next thing it tells me to put the battery in the controller, which I've already done. It asked me, do I use the controller in my left hand or my right hand? I am right-handed, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell it with the right. <laughs> of course, it's asking me for my credit card number so that it can access the store. Of course they'd want that, wouldn't they? All right, finally, it's gonna make me sit through a safety video. Yay. So it's to unplug my headset and put it on. I'm gonna go ahead and try this without my glasses and see what happens. Okay, it says to point my controller forward and hold the Oculus button to enter. So the Oculus button also lets you control where you are and, uh, and how your controllers are pointing in VR, okay? Hold it for one second, it says. All right, nice, you just reset your view and your control direction. Your, uh, it says your virtual controller is aligned with the controller, okay. Oh, this is freaky. Oh, I gotta get this recording so you guys can see what I see here. Oh, neat. That does not work. So far, I've tried the Jurassic Park game, it doesn't work. That's not a good sign, is it? Okay, so I've installed SWAT Academy on this device. It's on sale today, and I thought I would give this a try. It looks like it could be fun, so let's see what happens. Okay, here we are. Um, it's got a controller update, it says up here. I've got SWAT Academy here. Uh, controller aiming downsides, customized buttons, lots of bug fixes. Okay, so I've got uh, a couple of pre vests on here, uh, a couple of magazines, stripper clip, uh, 
rebuke maids, things like that. Okay, so I'm in this game called SWAT Academy. I'm gonna tap here to continue. It looks like I'm holding a laser pointer or something. Oh, welcome, whoa, shaky. Uh, I'm gonna get started on the range. I've loaded you with my weapon. Well, thank you. All right. All right, click left. Hold up, my thing is not pointing where I'm expecting it to. Okay, I find that I constantly have to recalibrate this thing. I click the touchpad when inside the green zone for a perfect reload. Okay. Oops. I'm already dead. <laughs> These guys have already killed me a long time ago. I wish I could shoot. <clears throat> Not automatic. Just give me one shot at a time so I could survey ammo. That would be nice. Fumble check. Alright. So here we are. Store. Let's try the zombies. That's not scary. I don't know. It was dark in here. Oh. Oh. I'm just like shooting through his head. Uh, this is unnerving. Actually, this really is kind of scary. Even though there's like cardboard cutouts. I can hear like the noise in my ears. It's hard to uh Hit these guys from far away in the head. There, okay. Level clear. The zombie one's kind of unnerving. Annihilated. Alright, I got over $2,000 again. Well, this is definitely an interesting game. Well, using the Oculus Go is definitely an interesting experience. I just showed you a couple of things that I've tried. Uh, I think I need to use this device more to really kind of get into it and get a better feel for it. I'm just kind of new at this whole thing. And this is, it's not my first time using VR, but it's definitely my first time using anything like this. Well, if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and comment down below. Do you think I should make more videos about some of the other games and things that are available on the Oculus Go? If you do, leave a comment and let us know. And I'd see that we made it to a thousand subscribers. Wow, thank you, thank you guys so much. We hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.